Howdy y'all. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah and this is Marshmallow Budgets. Oh, I'm a 29 year old cash budgeter in the great state of Texas and Marshmallow is my 20 year old cat. Today we have our weekly recap and a penny challenge and our meal planning that we're going to do for the week. Um, we gather up our change from me and my husband and we, um, meal plan based off of things that we already have in our pantry. Um, this is my coin purse. I just emptied it into this little jar or, I love, or bowl or whatever. I love this little bowl thing. I cut it from the Dollar Tree. Temporarily had candy in it. Um, it's just so, the shape is perfect. Um, anyways, so what we're going to do first is, is fill out our penny challenge so we can get that out of the way. How is everybody's weekend been? I hope it's gone well. Let me just move this to the side over here. Um, I've had a pretty decent weekend. I worked overtime, an overtime shift this weekend, so my Saturday was not as long as I'd hope it would be. Um, Sunday right now is going really well. Um, still fighting kind of a migraine, like the last bits of it. Let's see, that's $2. Um, so I'm hoping that'll be gone before tomorrow, so I won't have to really deal with all of that. So that's 10, 11, 12, 13... 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we have two dollars and twenty cents. We're gonna color in this orange. I decided to make this rainbow colored, and I figured by the end of it all, when this is filled out in like 10 years, then <laughs> it would be a pretty rainbow. Um so what plans do y'all have for the week? Do y'all have anything fun going on? This uh coming this uh, today, I guess you would say, is Cinco de Mayo. So um that's cool. We did not have tacos. We we had bone in pork chops finally with some veggies. Um so that, that was nice to get that done. We did not have tacos, though, even though it is Cinco de Mayo. Um, next weekend is Mother's Day weekend. Um, don't think we're going to really do anything that I know of. We might cook out again, possibly. It won't follow the meal plan, I don't think, if we will do that. But Okay, so here is May. We had the end of... April go on here which if y'all saw my Instagram post was a no spend as well we only had two spend days in April that's great when me and my friend bestie went out and um went to the farmer's market and stuff um but this month our goal is completely no spend and I know that I can do it um because I only spent those two days last month in I'm finding things to do around the house that are, you know, creative and hobby-esque. So, that'll be nice. So, no spend this week. Um, we did go grocery shopping, but that's not counting. If you can hear people talking, y'all, it's my husband and his brother. And they're just, they're hanging out. So, try to ignore them. Um... But anyways, we have our bills marked. Most of our bills marked. Some of them, like my cell phone's not on here. Um, and I'll put the grocery on here. Um, yeah. Pretty good. Clean slate. New month. Clean slate. Goals are no spend and save for my husband's surgery. Um, we're still praying, y'all, that he won't have to have surgery. Um, he'll have his consultation in a couple weeks for his secondary, second opinion. Um, so we'll find that out then. Um, another goal is, or a secondary goal to that is to put 900 towards that. 
at least. Um, I mean, if I can't, it's whatever. I still have June to save for it, the month of June. But I want to try to get as much as I can towards it so I can start going towards other goals. Um, and I do have the overtime shifts this month, so that's nice as well. Um, I should really fill out these little things a little better. I'll do that. I'll do that, and then next week when we go over our review, it will look all nice and filled out and all that stuff. So I'm going to put this on the floor. And now for the moment we have been waiting for. I mentally have a loose list of what I want to do for a meal plan next week. Let me get this to where y'all can kind of see. Um, and I'm going to have to turn it sideways because oh, I'll try not to. Um, but I have a, a loose mental list of what I think we should do for meal plan just based on what I bought from the grocery store. Y'all check out that video this week. And um, does it get everything in there? There we go. Um, and things that we had. Um, so let's let's just get here let's get started Mondays are fish days and um we've had shrimp like three weeks in a row but I bought catfish y'all check out that grocery haul video and we have some fish fries so we're gonna do fried catfish nuggets and when I say nuggets it's just like chopped up catfish it's not like actual nuggets you know what I mean it's just like pieces of of catfish and homemade fries I don't I was gonna write french fries but whatever okay so somewhere on here it should say catfish nuggets I think and we're gonna say with tartar sauce Which is right here, but I don't plan on using that whole thing. Um, catfish nuggets right here. Okay, and then for breakfast tomorrow, I've already decided French toast. And then for lunch, I'm going to have a leftover bone-in pork chop with something. I don't know, a salad or something for my lunch tomorrow. I put in dinner and then I put in breakfast and then I just kind of fill in lunch in my in my my fitness pal um, app so I can like keep track of my macros and stuff. Okay, Tuesday. Tuesday is Mexican food day, aka Taco Tuesday, but we don't always have tacos. Um, via or I don't know, is that the right word, y'all? Via the grocery haul or. According to the grocery haul, I'm not sure what helping verb needs to be there. Um, I bought green enchilada sauce so that we can do use the chicken taquitos wherever those are. Those are in the freezer. Use the chicken taquitos and the enchilada sauce wherever it is on here to make enchiladas. Like easy enchiladas because, you know. Put the frozen taquitos in there with the enchilada sauce, bake them, and then they're good. So, green chicken taquito enchiladas. Um, don't know what I'm doing for breakfast that day. Something with turkey sausage because I have one little four pack of turkey sausage left that I would just love to get rid of. And I'm not going to buy them for quite a while because I am tired of turkey sausage y'all lots of protein not like super it's not nasty like that makes me feel bad for even like thinking that to say that but um where are you enchilada sauce oh i'm looking at the wrong thing um It's just dry, y'all. I feel like the turkey sausage, like the pre-made turkey sausage patties are just like so dry. Where are you? We'll find it eventually. Probably when I look away, I will see it on here. 
and I will mark it off. It may not be on here because I'm not seeing it. It's okay. Okay, and then we have two meals that we did not make from this previous week's uh, meal planning sheet because we use leftovers or my husband had to work late and he wasn't he was supposed to cook one of those things or our plans changed a mixture of all of them so one of them is a roast with veggies roast with red potatoes um we're not going to use all of the potatoes, but we're going to use some of them. Um, so we were supposed to have that this today, actually, Sunday. But we ended up having a cookout with my husband's family. Um, they were supposed to come over yesterday when we were supposed to do the grilled pork chops. But the weather was bad, so we didn't end up grilling the pork chops. So we had the pork chops tonight, and or today, this evening, before this video was made. Um... And yeah, so we're going to have the roast on Wednesday. I can just throw it in the crock pot that morning and then it'll be ready after work. And that will be very nice and dandy. So we have three days left. We have one leftover meal in the back of my mind. Um, we need, oh, we have four days left. I'm only showing you three days. We have four days left. Um, one recipe leftover recipe in the back of my mind we have two more of these Campbell's ones from last week that I want to choose to try and then we have a crock pot meal um that I want to do and since crock pot meals are on Sunday I'm going to go ahead and put it on here I want to have make my stew my mom's slash my granny's recipe of stew my husband calls it beef stew I mean, it has ground beef in it, so whatever. Um, it has a lot of different things in here, so let us go through and see what we can find. It's going to have one of these. And... It's going to have a couple, a little bit of that. Uh, let's see I'm looking for that other stuff that we also did too. Oh, those are gone. We I forgot to take those off. Um, we had tostadas last week or this past week. Ramen, honey, pork rinds. Oh, there's the fish fry. Um, we're going to use all of that for the French toast tomorrow, y'all. I am just all over the place. I'm getting better though, don't y'all think? Um, ranch style beans, a can of corn is going to be in there, uh, the tomato sauces will be gone, there's going to be a rotel gone, what was the other thing that I put in here that's a canned thing, oh the stewed tomatoes. Okay, so that's going to knock out a bunch. Alright, so that's stew for Sunday that you can't see. There we go. Okay. Alrighty. Y'all, if y'all like this, please let me know in the comments. This, I actually, even if I didn't film this, I actually do sit down and do this every week to meal plan for us to use groceries so we're not eating out all the time. So I just figured I would film it. So y'all can join along with us, or with me, my husband in uh, spirit, I guess, because he does not like to do this. He just kind of says, whatever you want to make, babe. So, um, let's see, Thursday, let's do, make that a leftovers day. Because we're going to have a lot of stuff. I'm hoping the, the fish will be gone that whole day, that first day. We're going to have these left over, and we'll probably have a little bit of this left over. So that leaves us two days, and I have two, a meal, leftover meal in the back of my mind, and then we have these recipes. Um, let's see how these are cooked before I decide. Um, so we don't have egg noodles, but we do have penne, 
penny, penne, those ones, noodles, and we also have elbow noodles. We have broccoli, we have the soup, we don't have sour cream. We have parm and we have pepper. So, we don't have one of those ingredients. Let's see what we got in here. We have broccoli, we have chicken, we have the soup, we have milk, we have cheese, Ur, we have butter. I said er for the breadcrumbs because the last time I made something that needed breadcrumbs, I just um, ground up some plain pork rinds and it made it healthier. So, I might make this one. This is what it looks like. There's a glare, of course. Oh, there we go. Chicken Devon. Uh, in a shallow baking dish. That's a big baking dish. Uh, soup and milk. Cover the broccoli and chicken. We're gonna make this one. Um, I'm just gonna use pork rinds. Um, let's do this on Saturday. Campbell's chicken and broccoli divan. And we'll keep this recipe to the side and put this recipe away for when we can buy sour cream. Sour cream for the grocery list. Y'all can't see that, but I wrote sour cream right here. We just need one half cup. So we can buy the small little dilly of sour cream. Now y'all can see it. Um, let's mark out these, uh, things. So we're going to take out one of the soups. There's only going to be one left. The broccoli that I just bought is probably going to take all of it because it says eight cups. That's a lot. Uh, milk, we have plenty of, of, we have plenty of shredded cheese. We have plenty of butter. Chicken. We'll probably have some chicken left. I'm going to put a little dash beside it. Yep. That's it. Okay, put that to the side. And then, y'all, I honestly feel like we need another leftovers day in here somewhere. Um, and my husband made a, a uh, comment earlier that he had to have his breakfast on the weekend. So I'm going to make sure we have um, thawed out breakfast sausage for um, at least Saturday morning. This goes in the stew. Sorry, y'all. I'm looking for the... Uh, there it is. One of those. Okay. <sighs> Friday. We did not eat hamburger steaks again for the second week in a row. It was planned and it wasn't uh, made. That was the one where my husband worked late and he was supposed to make dinner because I hate making patties. I think I mentioned this before. I cut into everything like that to see if it's done and constantly cutting into it to make sure it's not like bleeding in the middle or whatever. So I um prefer for him to make it. So I think um, I'm going to say hamburger steaks with sides or lefties. Hopefully most of the lefties will be gone from me eating them for lunch. Um, because that's what I do for lunches every day is the leftovers. I think one day last week was the first time I haven't had a leftover for lunch. But I wasn't feeling well because of my migraine. Um, I had a pack of ramen. For lunch and I didn't even eat the whole pack of ramen because I just couldn't couldn't deal with that y'all my head was hurting so bad um still have a little bit of a headache but it's not as bad I think I have everything marked off on here that we need marked off we're gonna run out of some things this week that I need to uh I'm going to have to like get from the grocery store like peanut butter and jelly because my husband takes peanut butter and jelly for his lunch every day. Made with love, y'all. Cream of chicken soup. We're going to have to get more of that from the store too. We've been going through that. Let's see. We're going to use some of this for the French toast. 
Oh, we're going to use this for the stew, the canned potatoes. I'm glad I went through and looked at this, y'all. Gravy, I might make homemade biscuits. With gravy. For breakfast one day this week. Um, I actually make my gravy from scratch because it's not very difficult. But we do have a package of country gravy here, and it's like country sausage gravy that I might, might slash probably will use. Um, brown gravy will be for the hamburger steaks, and also with the green beans will be for the hamburger steaks. Um, and actually there is two in there, so two goes to one. Um... Peanut butter, Rotel, mac and cheese. Been wanting to get rid of the mac and cheese when the boys are here, but they never want it anymore. Pork rinds, cornmeal, hash browns. We are probably going to use the rest of those this week. Sugar, garlic, onions. I'm going to put a mark here because, like I said, we're going to use those for some of those for the stew. Yep, that looks like about it. Okay. Alrighty y'all, that is the meal plan for the week and the monthly or the weekly what I spent review and yeah, we did really good this time. I feel pretty good about this. I'm going to go ahead and put these into these meals into my fitness pal. That way I can kind of like plan out everything, you know, and get my macros all checked out so I can follow my goals this week. If y'all want to see a monthly goals video, y'all let me know because I do have, I actually do go through and write those down so I can know what I'm working towards each week. And that's it. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for liking, subscribing, and commenting if you don't mind. Um, end of this month, I've decided we're going to do the giveaway as long as I can get it, my life together here. Um. I know what I'm going to do. I just haven't gotten there yet. So y'all TBD for that video. Um, and I'll post it on Instagram as well. We're going to pause right here for a little thumbnail. And then I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.